Look here. Show you what them slot limit baits do. Some old crappie jigs. Y'all check that out. Can't get his mouth open. Look at there. Slot limit baits. The two inch grub. Got him. Alright y'all. We are about to put out some crab nets real quick. See if we can catch some crab. We're gonna check a spot. Sorry for the wind noise. It is very windy out here today. All right, guys, got something totally different for y'all today. We're in South Louisiana, down here around Shell Beach. Got my buddy Adam Sanders with me from Redline Outdoors. Um, he got an invite to come down and do a coon hunt, invited me. We're gonna go out with uh, Outside the Levees, Jared Serenay. If y'all ain't checked his channel out, get over and check him out. He's got a good YouTube channel, got something good going over there. And uh, Vinny with Pelican, Pelican Bone Outdoors. Pelican Bone Outdoors. So if you hadn't checked those channels out, check that out. If you ain't got over on Adams, give Adam a subscribe. Watch some of his videos. He's got a lot of hunting videos over there. Some good deer hunting stuff. Redline Outdoors. We're going to get after some coons tonight. Maybe some crawfish, fish tomorrow, something. Don't know. But this evening, we're going to check out these crabs. See if we can find some crab. Maybe make some gumbo, boil some crab. Something like that. Something. We're They've going. been a little slow. But you never know. We're gonna try them. Got some chicken legs, some buffalo. Hey, we didn't bring any groceries, so we better catch some crabs. We gotta catch something to eat. We didn't bring nothing to eat. There's no grocery stores down here. Yeah, no groceries. I got water, and that's all I got. So that's for real. We gotta go find some. That's right. So Y'all check this out. A rabbit? Oh my goodness. Hey, rabbit. hold on a second. Y'all check this out. out. Hey, look at this. We're down here on the road just trying to catch a blue crab and look what I find. I mean, swamp donkeys too. Where's that other one at? Right over there, look at there. Oh my goodness, they just don't know we didn't bring nothing to eat. All right, there's one. Oh, little bitty one. Got one? Yeah. Is he big enough to eat? Probably. Probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good crap. Yeah. No, it ain't. That's a good one, though. It ain't bad female but she's good <laughs> number 11 that we kept that may be why the other string was moving well we got another one neither yep. one of us was filming yep no camera no camera number 12 that's a dozen that's a dozen gumbo crabs that's what them is Gumbo crabs. They ain't big ones, but they gumbo crabs. Yep. All right. Then. Or stuffed crabs. Or stuffed crabs. I like stuffed crabs. I just so happen to know how to make stuffed crabs. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh! Oh, you saved him. Saved a day. <laughs> Tell me I had that on film. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Yep. Quick thinking. Ooh, it flipped out of my, my hook. That's a good male too. Woo. Get him go. Come out there, boy. Get on out of there. Hey, turn loose of that boot. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's a hook. Dad gone. Braid. Braid a hook. Was it wrapped around him? I don't know if it's wrapped around him or it was just down there on the ground when I dropped him. I had this right next to Be nice if people pick their stuff up, wouldn't it? Come on, people. Look at that. That wouldn't feel good. That's down here. Just somebody just cut it off, cut it off and left it. 
That's a gum I got to. Yeah, we'll do something with that. We'll take care of that. Good crab. <laughs> Watch me fall in. It ain't pulled tight, but ease it up. Oh, you gonna try to fan? No, I can't whatever. He's on there. He, he may have turned loose. There's one on there. Two of them. Two of them. Two. Not very big, but two of them. No, but, uh. Heck, just knowing there's some on this side of the road too yeah. means a little something. I didn't keep neither one of them. Whoo, look at there. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We got 13 crabs. Yeah, bro. Couple. We're down here in this ditch, I think. We need Got one. This one's decent, it's a male. Not bad. I got him. Got him. Oh, come here, boy. Don't you bite me. Got him. Gumbo crab. Think about it this way, if you want a seafood gumbo, if you got crab and shrimp, even the small ones of them, you can put in there and you got a lot of flavor with them. So that's why I call them gumbo crabs. At least that's my idea. Oh, I hope I don't step on a nail in this mess. Crab. Runner! <laughs> Use him for bait, son. Crack crabs. Well, they did have a one. I mean, they got some decent ones, too, but they did have a bunch of little ones. Uh oh. Put it there, son. Get that sucker in here. That's a keeper. Keeper! <laughs> Pretty good. I'll keep this line tight. Get him, boy. Oh, Buffalo got him. Buffalo fish. All, All right. right. Pretty nice blue crab. Yeah, that's a nice one. If I can ever get him out of there. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. Decent. Yeah, you're decent. Take it. Right Old Buffalo got him. Y'all check that out right there. We got a few blue crabs. Got a couple big ones in there. Hey, that's enough for a pot of gumbo. Just a quick evening. Found a few. Who knows? Might get some more tomorrow. Hey, just for a quick evening roadside little scavenger hunt. We found a few crabs. Got us a couple dozen. Hey, we'll we'll put them in a pot of something. Got Adam. He's casting casting gator out here. We hunting, but I don't know what we hunting. Whew. Be hunting a way out of here for the night, so. Yeah, I mean, how'd you know his name? It's yep. crazy how silent they are when they 
Got Adam's dog, Gator. Treed on a coon, but there's a lot of leaves in these trees already. Gonna be tough trying to find these coons. <laughs> Next time you get lost in your property like that, just keep an eye out for a headlamp. Uh-oh. Oh, I brought two. You pulled the vinny? Yeah, it was on my head and I, I must have hit my head. Or... You need another one, I got one. No, I got this one. He's a really good victim. But he's out in the field. Hey, it wasn't a bad idea to let him, let him hit the edge of that pond. Alligator, so. What? Yeah. Get out of here, Jared. Y'all got alligators in there? Yeah, we got a couple of big ones. A couple big ones. Yeah, Man on a mission. Look at there. We're out here in South Louisiana. South Louisiana trying to get on these old coons out here with a coon dog. And we got alligators. Look at that big joker. Y'all check this out right here. Look at this big, big live oak. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Adam, step over by that live oak. Let me get a shot of you. Show them how big this tree is. I think that thing's got to be over 100 years old. <laughs> it takes six of you to reach around it. <laughs> That's a big one. All right, we're down here on Jared's place. We got Gator treed for the second time. You got a better walkway? Huh? You got a better walkway? Yeah, clear over here. Stick this way. We got Gator treed for the second time tonight. We're going to try to get in here and see if we can see something. If it's got a hole in it, he could be. guys we're down here in south louisiana down here around shell beach right now at the camp we're working on these crab and we caught a few yesterday evening we're gonna get back after them today catch some crab see if we can catch some fish we got mr jared down here with us now jared serenade outside the levees y'all be sure to get on their channels get on jared's channel if y'all hadn't checked him out already outside the levees on youtube check him out give him a sub He's got some good content. I've been watching him for a long time. He didn't know that till I come down here and uh, been watching him 50,000 subs ago before we even was, was getting very big. Yeah, we, so. we, uh, we'd love to have y'all. Uh, I do similar stuff to what these two guys do, just kind of based in my little home area. Uh, we do have a lot of seafood, a lot of crabs, crawfish, shrimp. I love to ride and reel fish, so if you're into that, if you don't, if you do come down throughout the year to South Louisiana or to the coast, you might relate to some of the things I do. Uh, I love what y'all do up there, you know, up in North Louisiana, the country boy stuff. So it just all kind of ties together, good people, good content. So we would love to have y'all on my channel outside the levees. So thank y'all for coming down, boys. Y'all probably see him again. We're going to try to get him up. Hey, get man. him on a big... Yes. I don't know if it's knuckles and skin up or not. We can get him on one of them big flathead catfish. Oh, we're going to grab him? We 
we can. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> oh, you didn't say that. Oh, you ain't gonna there grab them? You only live <laughs> once. You only live once. I mean, I'm yeah. not gonna not grab them. I, I thought you meant we just taking them out the depth. We're gonna uh, we'll noodle them? Go down there. We can. Yeah. We'll do some net fishing, some limb lining. <laughs> yes, indeed. Y'all know the normal content. Hey, right. we might take him grabbing. All That's right. what he wants to do. All right. All right. There's a sign right there that talks about the Battle of Lake Bond. Brings back some memories for me because I grew up on a shrimp boat, shrimp in Lake Bond. Fort Proctor on the bank of Lake Bond in there. Pretty cool stuff. You used to shrimp on the other side of that fort right there. You can't see it. All the grass and stuff, marsh grass, but Lake Bond lays right in there. Got a cross built right here on the Shell Beach Bank over here. Y'all check that out. It's pretty neat. A little history right here. The sign talks about how the British troops come in and in, invaded New Orleans. And, uh, yeah. Started out good for them, but it didn't pan out in the long run. So, there's a little history on this area. Lake Bond. Pretty neat stuff down here. What about it, Adam? I like it. Did you get the memorial? Y'all check this out right here, too. This is a Katrina Victims Memorial right here. Pretty neat stuff. Thought we'd come down and get a little footage of this. Nice of them to build a memorial down here. Yeah, Campos Marina right here. We right beside Campos Marina. Boat launch and all that. Bait and stuff right here. Y'all check out these specs. That is a pretty sucker right there. Woohoo! Yes, Ain't no need measuring that one. Just put him in the ice chest. I know it. Hold him up. Get a little shot. Let that braid cut you. I know. Hold him up where I see you facing. That guy's looking at us. I don't care. We'll get him buy some slot limit baits. Look here. Show you what them slot limit baits do. Some old crappie jigs. Y'all check that out. Can't get his mouth open. Look at there. Slot limit baits. The two inch grub. Got him. I got you. Go ahead. Adam's hooked up. Got another one. Another speck. He may be under, huh? Quick release, quick safe release on that one. Was he in the current or past it? Uh, right to the left of that, just just there. Left of where I just threw? Yeah. Got him. Oh, yeah. Got you a flounder. That's awesome, dude. Look at that. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. On the live shrimp. Flounder. Look at there. Roadside flounder. What I'm talking about. Felt a little pass, and then kind of felt him running with it. Was that the bottom? Yeah, it's on the back edge of that current right there where I was. Let it go down, work it into the edge of that current there. Show y'all real quick how we hooking these shrimp. We're just using jigs. Got one eighth and quarter ounce jigs. This is a two alt hook. Some jigs that I make for crappie fishing. Took them right there through that horn. Or below. 
blow that horn. Easing them along the bottom. That's a good blue crab right there. That means we need some crab pots out. <laughs> You throwing just a jig head to get all the way across or what? I'm going to fix the bottom with a sink on the bottom and a hook at the top. Well, you got enough flounder. Right That's a flounder. Pretty nice one there. Yeah. Pretty nice one. Pretty nice one. Got him. All right, there's the country boys. Y'all darn. Catching these fish, man. <laughs> looking, looking for a mud cat. <laughs> <Something. laughs> hey, brother, you ain't gonna catch no flatheads like that. <laughs> no flatheads, huh? Nope. I got him on the shirt anyway. I say that and watch. You're gonna pull up a flathead. <laughs> Go ahead. Right. See what you can do. You, you can work the magic. Rocks. They keep hitting them rocks and turning loose. That's what he did right there. Let's leave it close. Maybe it'll come. Got a net man and a string man. Ain't the way to go today, man. Caught a leg. fishing down. I'm going to show y'all where we stayed last night. Y'all check this out. Camp Connex. It's a pretty awesome camp here. We got a hook up with Mr. Jerry Serenay on this deal staying here. We're going to give these folks a little shout out for letting us stay here on our uh, South Louisiana adventure down here. But y'all check this out. You got an ice machine. You got some nice tables. Bars. Eating crawfish, all that good stuff. Boiling crab. Look at that little nice little table right there. That's pretty sweet. Look at there. That's pretty sweet right there. Got a big old picnic table here. This thing is super nice. That big old ceiling fan. Overlooking the canal right here. Right here on Shell Beach. Look at that guy. What's he doing in my truck? <laughs> Is he still alive down there? Yeah. <laughs> Check out Gator down there. <laughs> Got uh, three bedrooms in this thing. Shower, all that good stuff in there. Look at this kitchen. It's pretty sweet. They keep it set up with coffee. Look at there. Got the curry. Got plenty of coffee in case you catch some blue crab, shrimp, crawfish, something like that down here. They even keep some 
seasonings and stuff like that. This place is furnished. It's got dishes. We've got a, uh, look here, even got some chips. It's pretty nice the way they set this up. That's where I slept last night. Got our bathroom, real nice showers. Man, this, this place is, is sweet. Adam stayed in here last night. TVs in all the rooms. Double bunks in, in the rooms. Tell y'all what, this is about as nice of a place as I've stayed in on any of our getaways. Y'all looking for a place to stay down around Shell Beach? Uh, check them out. Campconnex.com. Like I said, they pretty much fully furnished. There's a few stores and stuff down here you can get some groceries and stuff from to add to it. But this is a real nice place to stay. We come back down here, probably going to hit them up. I'm going to put their card on here for a little information for these folks. Um, but y'all just remember, you can go to campconnex.com and look them up. Y'all check them out. There's a card right there, Shell Beach, Louisiana, campconnex.com. Or give them a call, St. Bernard, Louisiana. Look back there. Old girl, she trying to hide. She ain't got her hair fixed. She got the grill going, though. Just got home. Look at here. Got the pot going. Got to go to work in the morning, so I'm going to cook up some of this South Louisiana stuff for supper. Y'all check this out. Show y'all what we'll come back with. Look right there. I got some oysters. Got some flounder. Adam took the trout. He wanted them, so we got a few shrimp, a couple pounds of shrimp. And then check it out. That's what I've been waiting on right there. Got them old blue crabs. They still, still in good shape. We're going to put them in a the pot. Sorry, boys. Got a little bit of water going. Got a couple sticks of butter. When you got as much as as much water as when we boil a crawfish, so I don't need all that much seasoning and stuff that when we normally boil a crawfish. Give y'all a little glimpse into what I'm putting in there though. We got some garlic going in. We already put three um, big old yellow onions in there. So I'm going with about half a bottle of lemon juice right there. Gotta save a little bit for my oysters. We're gonna do some oysters on the half shell on the grill. We got couldn't find Tony's, but I got the Zatarin's Creole going in a whole bottle. Got one box of salt going in. I'm gonna boil up some shrimp and crab. You know you got it right if you're coughing. I'll add just a little bit of red pepper flakes. I like to put them in there. Liquid crab oil. There we go. Louisiana liquid crab oil. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah. Woo. What we got right here? We got some South Louisiana oysters. Good looking jokers right there. I'm gonna show y'all what we're gonna do. We're gonna cook them on a half shell. Show you how I shuck them. Used to do this when I was a kid. Grew up um, shrimping and oystering. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fix them. Show you the safest way to shuck them. If you hadn't ever done this before, we used to have these benches, but I always use a board. And um, you just wanna, your hinge is back here. You wanna put the knife in there and push away from your hand, of course. When I was a kid, Daddy run one of these oyster knives through his hand, and that wasn't a real good experience. So uh, we always push that oyster knife in there, and you can see in there you got two sections that connect to that shell. You want to pop one section and cut that with that oyster knife when you stick it in, and just leave that other side like that right there, and we're gonna grill that. If you was frying them, you could just pop both sides are loose. I'll go ahead and do this and y'all can see where it's connected right there. You would just scrape it like that and that oyster is cut loose. Now you could put them in a bowl or dish or something, oyster bucket, and save them and fry them. But we do them on half shells, so we're gonna leave them just like that. I ain't done this in years, so I'm not as fast as I used to be. And I'm sure there's some people watching that's gonna be faster than me doing that. But the main thing is that we don't get no shell or nothing in there, so we ain't 
bite no crunchy shell while we eat. Over there. All right, guys, gonna season these oysters up, show y'all what we're gonna use. I got some butter melting in the microwave. I'll use that. You wanna kinda lay these oysters up where this will kinda hold a little bit. We hit all of them with some lemon juice. Stir that butter's melted a little bit. We're gonna put a little dab on each oyster with our lemon juice. And we'll hit these while they're on the grill with the butter a little bit too. That butter will kind of set in there a little bit. Once these go to drying up, they'll set in there a little bit better. What I got here is some Lowry's Total Seasoning. It's got garlic. This stuff's pretty good. Oh, uh, got some Tony's and Parmesan cheese. And that's all we're going with. We got that Lowry's Total Seasoning. Hit them with that. It's got a lot of garlic and Got a little salt and stuff in it. Parmesan cheese. Pull on each one of them. Look at there. Woo! Uh -huh. Grill's good and hot. So I have to be quicky with it. Alright, we're gonna close this lid and let them cook for a few minutes, let them smoke. We're gonna wait just a few minutes on the shrimp. We're gonna put the crab in there first, let them cook just a minute or two before we put the shrimp in there. Look there. They in the pot. I like your boots. You like my boots. <laughs> Y'all be sure. Try to drop the link in the oh in a video description that's the high c boots that's our new boots they sent us i actually wore these our whole trip down south loved them work good didn't get no wet feet they just go up to the ankles but these things are so comfortable i think i'm just gonna quit wearing tennis shoes start wearing them <laughs> what Not you gonna put that. yours on i video you wearing yours i need a pair of like purple ones or something bold. All right, we're gonna check these oysters out. Look at there. They starting to look good. We're gonna hit them one more time with the butter. Put a little butter in each one of them. I like to let them dry up just a little bit and then hit them with the butter. That way it butter's got room to sit in there around them. And it'll, it'll kind of hold that butter in that shell then. You can see them going to cook a little bit right there. A lot of people like raw oysters. I've eat them raw. I will eat them raw. But I don't know. I really like them fried and I really like them grilled like this. They're just fine. Look at that fire. That's fine. Hit them. Hit them, baby. Charbroil. Louisiana, garlic parmesan, oysters on a half shell, charbroil, keeping it real. Two minutes, four crabs. Shrimp go in. Got to stir them up just a second. Crabs looking good. We got crab and shrimp. About one minute on the shrimp, cutting the fire off. Y'all check them out right there. See how they floating? We're gonna make them sink. It's gonna make them crab soak up that soak up that juice right there. Look, all them shrimp just sank. Cause they just soaked that up, cooling that down like that. Then Joker's gonna be fine eating. All right, y'all check it out. Gonna test them out, see if they any good. I'll get y'all a little butter knife or something like that. Cut that loose from there. Mmm. My goodness, them are good. Look at that. Got that juice in there. Mmm. Can't let that go. Look, there's even some, some of that Parmesan. 
Got that oyster flavor. Mm. Scoop him out of there. Mm. My goodness, that's good. Y'all just don't know. Look at here. Y'all can eat them in a restaurant all y'all want, but y'all ain't eat none until you fix them yourself like this. Scrape all them goodies out of there. Mmm. Man, that's good. Y'all check them ditch crabs out right there. I'm gonna show y'all how to dress them real quick, how to clean them. That's how you boil them. You wanna boil them with a the shell on. We'll save them shells, make some stuffed crabs. Catch them in the road ditches in Louisiana. Main ditch pickles. They way better than ditch pickles. Road ditch crabs. You can just take that little leg or something right there, stick under that. And uh, I want to save these shells because we're going to make some some uh, stuffed crabs, but you just pop that shell off right there. Look at there, and I'll clean these out later. Pull all that off. These right here is the gills, so you want to take them off. Those ain't no good. Get rid of them. And then uh, I always take them like this right here and just pop them open. Crack them open like that right there. Kind of shake the insides out a little bit. Like that. Look at there, them's ready to eat. Pop the claws off. Pop them off. Suck all that off. Once you get that far, if nothing, none of the meat comes out, you can just kind of press down like that right there and then bust them open. Or some people would take scissors and cut them open or a knife and cut them open. But once you pop it out like that, you can get to that meat right there. That's where the good stuff is, all that white meat in there. All right, meat. Some fine eating right there. Crack it. Clean that shell off on all them claws. Once you get that cleaned off, egg wash and flour and fry them as your fried crab claws, or you can just eat them like this. But them things is good fried. All right, guys, we had a real good time in South Louisiana. Caught a nice mess of blue crabs while we was down there in the road ditch. Um, caught some nice fish. We caught some speckled trout. Had to throw a few back. Caught four flounder. That was a good deal. Had a good time visiting down there. This is a big deal for us, this video is, because it's four channels in one. So hopefully in the future, we're going to get back with those guys, do some more videos. May get them to come up here and do some. So... Appreciate, like I said, the always the likes, the shares, the comments. We can't do that stuff without you guys. All right, that's going to be all for this time. Be sure to stay tuned. God's Country Hunting and Fishing, keeping it real.